If you are going to create your first Android game, this tutorial series will help you. So we are going to do a proper plan for our game and we are going to do zero to end full including development from scratch to publish in the Google Play Store. So we are typically going to be go as a systematic as well. So this uh, in this video we are also going to discuss about the systematic uh, you know timeline and other stuff and also I will give you the all of these problem which you are going to face how you can solve them and your question answer related with the energy development the first thing let's start to do anything make a list you can use Google Docs or any type of notepad and make a list something like me that I did so first thing you have to choose a budget like how much budget under you want to going to create your game okay so you can rather as a solo replay highly says don't spend more than 200 to 500 dollar and if you have continuous income and some more you can spend more like thousand to five thousand around okay that is uh, kind of like a something so as a solo developer or something like that you have to for example let's set our budget to 500 usd okay we really need money to, uh, i'm uh, telling you honestly because we really need money to develop the game okay so a second thing uh once you choose your budget then you need that the engine version now you have to choose a perfect engine that it's stable it doesn't have too much issue but you can use it and unluckily we don't have currently that kind of like any engine version that it's super or ultra stable like unreal in 4.27 series which is really cool and which was a really cool and a stable engine as well but in unreal in 5 series it's not stable but we can use a version of 5.2.1 or you can use 5.4.4 so these two versions are really stable currently you can even build ios as well with these two engines so i highly recommend you can choose any of them as you want okay but the preferable is the 5.4.4 so our case we are going to go with the 5.4.4 okay the third thing is about the team and members so if you have teams for example you have an artist you have a developer you have a designer you are managing all of the game then you can count as a small kind of like a small studio but at the end if you don't have something like that so let's calculate us as a zero we don't have any artists we don't have a sound designer or anything we'll be do everything by our own self okay then the experience it's really matter it still depends on you like how much experience do we have in the unreal engine games and developing the games and the complexity you can go okay so i can let's put a number of five okay i guess this is a to be honest it will be a standard we can develop anything that's why you can even put m many more depends on your experience let's go to timeline the timeline is the your full project's timeline that you are going to create it can be a prototype or it can be a full game for us an android game it's not should be take uh you not should be give more than uh, three months or six months as a Android game okay until it's super big as a solo developer I highly recommend to create game under one month to three months it's highly recommended because I'd never suggest you to go expand a game which is you are working for a six month and you know you are going to publish it don't do that but try to make as a solo if you are doing it first time try to make couple of game and you know do some research on the market that which game it's you are creating better or it's it's running good for you okay that's why in our case we are going to uh, take uh, is one month okay and I really in personally I always follow this timeline one I'd never spend three to six one as uh, in my Android game okay so then is asset selection the asset selection is super important because you have to check your library that which type of asset you have to create your game it can be for example if you have too much science fiction assets you can create a science fiction game if you have too much vehicle asset you can use vehicle assets if you are uh, vehicle game or if you have rpg stuff so you can create rpg game you know so make sure you check your library in our case i really have a lot <laughs> lots of category assets because i'm in unreal more than seven years right now so i literally have lots of paid assets i have or get lots of asset pack from epic freely in every month claim 
so I literally have tons of assets so in this thing uh, because in this tutorial series I want to show you a simple uh, thing not too much complicated at which we can develop in under one month that's why I choose the driving game okay okay so uh, we already choose the gaming at the type so this is the based on our thing then the game choose what type of game we are going to create so the game create is basically depends on you now you know as i said the experience and literally it depends on the experience and the asset selection which type of you have so because i'm going to choose a driving game it can be more like rpg you can go to something like a simulation category or science fiction stuff or any other category but in my case i'm going in a driving one because i need to show you in the youtube so i want to show you some easy thing that you can easily replicate it or you can make it by your own self okay so in a, this thing let's give that car driving and date okay this is all as a you know the first because before going to create a project you have to choose and set then the problem you are going to face during this Android game development series. The first thing you'll be going to get the problem of SDK and DK JDK issue. So let's now talk about this thing. The SDK and JDK is basically some component file for Unreal Engine which is required to create APK. So without creating APK, suppose you create a game, but if you can't able not able to share the APK with the public or even Google Play Store or you can't even test on your mobile, so what does it mean? So that's why you need sdk and dk jdk this is some component okay which is re required to package your game for the android okay so i already created a video about that how you can create a uh, setup sdk and dk jdk and fix this issue with last and really 5.4.4 so watch that and fix your engine problem okay the second thing you will face about apk and obb issue so you have you typically become confused on these two things like what the heck it is why the apk what is the obb in a typical section so the apk is kind of like your game installer or the launcher type thing and the obb content all your map data you know it's basically uh, content all of your backbones and the resource files so like the map data your player data your codes and everything it's basically instead of obk obb and in the in the apk you will basically see most of cases the installer launcher and the all the program executable file okay so that's why the combination of apk and the obb we basically just call it an you know apk plus obb file basically but in google play store uh we don't need to upload the obb right now <laughs> maybe uh one to two years ago we can add upload or add obb files manually but now we don't need to upload the obb files we need to basically uh, connect them and make it a android app bundle file which is basically called is a bb okay which is basically the android app bundle file so instead of app bundle file this is the combination of those two thing but it's more optimized for the google play so the google can extract that the file and based on the user they can select okay this user need this file only we need to provide this so suppose you give three type of uh, texture support aistc dxtc etc but the user device only support EST. he doesn't need the dxtc or astc texture okay so google optimize that for you automatically and he provide that so which is really cool thing so that's why now in from last one to two years the google is now required only a baby file okay then you'll face problem of big size game issue look guys it's totally uh, a common problem in unreal engine game because unreal engine doesn't uh, focus for the mobile yet and even in the future as well I'm not sure how much it will fo focus in the future but in the present or even in the past it doesn't uh, care about too much about the Android game okay so you typically see the Unreal Engine APK size is too much for example a third person template size is more than 200 MB to 300 but as a in if you compare with a unity even a full complete uh, Android uh, shooting game you will be see it's coming with just 70 MB or highest 70 MB okay so you know the unity are more optimized for the android game but yeah you can use but unreal engine but still you'll face this kind of like problem you can do a texture optimization code improvement and many more on the contribution side but you can high highest can reduct 50 mb more uh, so less than uh 
kind of like if there's a APK size is 200 in uh, by default you can maybe get around 100 can comp uh, compress it to 100 MB or 120 MB okay then you'll face problem of optimization issue in Unreal Engine, it's too hard to optimize the game. So that's why I, I, I ask you that do you have the team members or not who can optimize the asset for you or can work for you as a, to find a or alternative code logic for you which is more optimized and more uh, you know costly for the RAM. Okay, so for the optimization you can go in a different types of uh, way like you can create a C++ project and directly go in C++ second you have to do very uh, optimized model for your game you know in a polycon or in a uh, texture in a material or in a draw calls okay lastly about on the level set that sup suppose sometime to make a fulfill level you doesn't require all of the f 100 asset you just maybe need require 50 asset but with the only level high talented level artists can achieve that the same quality with just 50 asset okay so that is the thing so you have to know about that optimization okay and you will earn that or gather that by developing the game okay continuously you can problem face this problem upcoming which is the monetization issue in unreal engine series it's very hard to monetize the game there's a two type of way to monetize the game one is ad mobs second is app purchasing so in these two things or you can directly you know pay make your game to paid i don't think so if until this your game is super cool or very unique no one's going to be you know going to pay it for play so that's why i said it to keep a budget of 500 because from the 500 there will be now reduct 100 usd why for buying any good ad mob plugin you have to pay 50 usd for just a plugin and in for app purchasing plugin it's also separate it's also going to get around 50 usd okay so total across you'll be get of 100 and uh, a 100 usd uh, minus so now you have only 400 usd see but this thing is a for one time in the second time you don't need to pay because the most of epic plugin are is a one time purchasable so and it's you can use a lifetime so you don't need to worry okay so yeah by default it's very hard to use a default unreal engine ad mob and app purchasing so that's why i highly recommend to buy any plugin for marketplaces okay which is cool and yeah then you will face problem of uploading abb files as under 1.5 gb limited size so suppose if you are uploading apk only in by default google play store requirement is you need to upload under 150 mb now you have a question in your mind bro my game just a third person reblood curve more than 300 mb how can i upload my 2 gb game or a 5 gb game or 1 gb game instead of google play store for that google made a system called google asset delivery system in unreal engine we call it google gamepad so this is basically allow you to make or extract the your game into two different type of part and make the size is compatible for the downloadable as well in offline base so you don't need to put your obb files to the server like the patch updating system okay it can be worked by local and with just your packaging with the app file it automatically going to be included you don't need to worry so they already make a, a video about how to use uh, google gamepad or google asset delivery, asset delivery system with unreal engine 5 so you can watch that video okay so with that video you are able to upload 1.5 gb to highest 1.8 gb to google play store with apk plus obb okay you can't upload more than that okay other than that you need to go to the the second option which is bad uh, patch updating system the patch updating system is pretty much like internal downloading system if you play it uh, call of duty or war zone or free fire you will be see most of game has now like this that after they install the game you still have to install the download map audio hd audio hd texture screen texture emotes or anything so they basically make chunk stuff and the chunk file are basically are separated they make the file separate they upload their server and they connect with the game so what does happen that uh, whenever the user come and install the game without those stuff they can download it by their needs and then they can use that okay that is basically called patch updating system also it's very uh, good for the you know it's highly used by the developers like for 
map update as well. Then you will be see a problem of ABB not signed by the key store. Whenever you up try to upload a ABB file without the key store, you will be face this error. Okay, and for do fix that, I already uploaded a video how to create a key store for Unreal Engine 5.4 game. So watch that video. Otherwise, you will probably get this ABB singing error. Lastly, you will be get uh, error of storage billing sig seven and the targeted SDK fourteen. So. For fix those, you need to use CDS Hero plugin, which is available in Epic Marketplaces. Try that, it's totally free. Just install that, you don't have to do anything more. Just install that and boom, it's automatically going to be work. So that's all the solution. So yeah, there's too much problem you're going to be faced, but I already give the solution. And yeah, so with this thing, you are able to fix it, okay? And uh, now we already set up our category and stuff in next video we're going to configure our project and then we'll be start the asset selection and uploading uh you know designing our game and indc so thank you so much for watching see you in next video